Okay, here's a video of our 2021-2108 DS Winnebago Micro Mini trailer that we got brand new. The modifications that I did. One of the first things I did is put in a propane gas pressure gauge. I can just walk by and see how the propane is doing and I turn the bottle off and I can detect if there's a leak even the slightest leak. One of the first things I did inside is replace our 110 volt television with a 12 volt television so we can watch it when we don't have hookups. I also got rid of the uh, sus suspending sway out uh, device on here because I couldn't really see any reason to move the TV unless you want to watch it while you're sitting on the toilet and uh, also it uh, made it more rigid because it flopped around quite a bit. They had the spare tire mounted on the back, which is in plain sight, real easy to steal. I mounted it in the front and I made a bracket for it that you cannot get that tire off unless you can get into this cabinet and release the latch that I have on the inside. Also, I had to move the propane tanks forward a little bit to make room for the tire. I checked the tongue weight and everything and it's just fine. It worked out just great. Inside the cabinet, you can see the uh, latch that I made for the spare tire. To take the spare tire off, you have to pull this pin and slide that uh, all thread out so that this tire will actually come out. Otherwise, you're not going to get it out of there unless you completely remove both of the gas tanks. They had it set up so that the television had its own speaker. I connected the television to the stereo that came with the unit so that we could uh, use the speakers in the in the uh, coach to uh, watch television with. Before we even took a shower I replaced the shower head with this one here that actually aerates the water and it saves on the water a lot. Just went right in and hooked up to the original mount for it so I didn't have to do any mods to, to put that in. They encourage you to uh, buy a water filter to put on your hose when you hook up to your connections out there. This cabinet here was screwed shut solid so that you didn't have access. I made a door for it. And as you can see, I have an internal filter that I put in there. Why, why have a filter that you're lugging around where you can put build it in permanent? Also, if you look down in this little cabinet here, that's screwed shut. Inside there, I put in an electronic, electrical uh, monitoring system that watches the current when you hook up to uh, a, a campsite. And I have this monitor here, which you probably can't see, but it scrolls through and it tells me uh, the condition of the electricity coming in and uh, if there's any errors or whatever right now it's saying I'm using 4 amps at 60 Hertz there are no errors and it's 121 volts and so I replaced an annoying uh, uh, propane gas detector that goes off frequently for any reason like if you're taking a shower or something with a 12 volt uh, socket in case we need to plug an inverter in or something. This trailer came with a Murphy bed and uh, you'd fold down the couch that's there and then you open up the Murphy bed. Now there was a sticker on here that said never drive with the Murphy bed folded up. You have to put it down. Okay so why? So I got into here and found out they only had three hinges holding this part together. I put 10 more hinges on there. Underneath there, there was uh, like a 2x4 that was stapled in so it wasn't very strong. As a matter of fact, it was coming loose already. So I screwed it and bolted it in place and then added the 10 hinges. Also, I added gussets up here. And the reason I added gussets is because when you've got it up like this the only thing why isn't this focusing the only thing that 
keeps it from falling forward is those little three screws that are connected to this shock absorber and there's one over here those shock mount things so I put the gussets in so when you put on the brakes and the bed goes forward it's not going anywhere we drive around with it up all the time you may notice when we put the Murphy bed down it actually rests on these edges this channel I put in here because we put the Murphy bed down and one of my sunglasses got in the way and got crushed under there so that keeps stuff from going under the Murphy bed when you put it down you might wonder with a spare tire up there where's the battery well I got a lithium-ion battery and mounted it inside this cabinet next to the bed and we'll just forget about it. That's the last I need to deal with the battery. You see where they put the wall sockets next to the bed? I mean the bed's here. Those are the wall sockets. <laughs> so I ran power to these wall sockets on both sides of the bed. The bathroom had one towel rack that was kind of flimsy. I replaced it with two pretty sturdy towel racks. That's where we put our toilet paper holder. We saw something online about this shower soap dispenser and uh, it comes in pretty handy. We haven't used it yet because we figured we'll use it for long trips. On short trips we don't really need it. We found that the shower floor was pretty slippery so Holly did a nice job of putting this anti-slip strips in the shower. This light switch is for turning on and off the outside lights and the inside lights they had these reversed for some reason so I flipped them around notice that by removing their spare tire from back here it frees up the whole back side of it I wanted to show you up here we have a backup camera that we installed that we use a lot and we really appreciate it another thing too is these end caps keep coming off so I drilled it and pinned them so they don't come off when we first got this, the uh, light in here was really dim, so I replaced the light with a brighter, I think it's a 10 watt, it came with like a 3 watt light, it was almost useless. That bar there on the stove was like a towel bar. I put a towel bar over here because you couldn't open that drawer with a towel there. And this is where the trash goes here. And uh, we decided to leave that there because it kind of protects the knobs on the on the uh, stove. We have this backsplash in the kitchen at the home and Holly liked that so I put the backsplash on that side of the wall there to match what we have at home. I had a hook that I put on by the front door and we keep the trailer keys on one and we'll hook the truck keys on the other one when we're out and about. When you're putting things in and out of this cabinet, you're dragging it across the bottom seal down here. And I put these angle irons in, or actually aluminum, to protect the seal because dragging this stuff across that seal is going to definitely bust it up. So I put those on there, we don't have to worry about the seal. The original faucet that came with the trailer came out like this and as you can see from the stain here it was right about there and so you couldn't get your hands under here without getting water all over there so we bought a a new faucet and put it on there that comes over farther to the center of the sink up at the front vent up in here was just a cheap vent it didn't have anything i wanted to put a fan in so i looked there and i find this one here that's got a remote control and you just push the button and it opens up and you can set it for different temperatures you can set the fan at different speeds and if it starts raining it automatically closes and it also has a feature where <laughs> it'll close if you forget and leave it open and you start driving off but I didn't hook that up it would mean running another wire but that's pretty cool I mounted the box on here that has an outside temperature gauge on it and we have this monitor that we can put inside that tells us inside outside temperature is kind of cool I put it in that box to protect it 
thought maybe being inside of a closure like that, it won't be responsive, but it actually is. It works great. People tell me that their water pumps go out. So what they do, they mount the water pump in here underneath the trash, and they had this all screwed together, and it was really hard to get this, this bottom piece out to get to the water pump. So I modified it so that you can just open it up like that, and get into the water pump. There it is. Okay, it came with these little speakers up here and they really didn't sound very good so I put in a subwoofer. And I'll tell you what, that was a huge job because I had to run wires all the way up to the front and it was... I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> this part in front of the cabinet, in the front cabinet, was open to the cabinets that go inside so in order to keep it a little warmer I covered this up also I completely insulated inside here under the bed which was a huge job but uh, well worth it I think we stay pretty cozy in there we put in a paper towel dispenser right here over the dinette and found out that when you travel it unrolls itself so I thought well we'll put the roll on backwards it still unrolls itself so we put velcro around the thing but anyway it works so you don't remember everything but holly had the idea that, you know we've got this shelf up here right and what are you going to put on that shelf while you're traveling nothing because it's going to go flying around so holly said hey why don't we put velcro so these are all held on with velcro and they stay there just nicely we even did some regressive driving to see if they would stay that way also we put velcro on the table so we can put a couple cabinets here I don't know where the lid is to this one but you know when this way if if you have guests over and you don't want them there you just take them off and then when you're ready to travel you put them back pretty cool I ran 12 volts back here and I put one of these plugs like you use for a regular trailer trailer hitch type thing and there's 12 volts here because at home I have a macerating pump that I can connect to the sewer lines and we can drain them at home. I run a hose up to the uh, uh, laundry area in the garage to a clean out and uh, it works quite well and I can take my time and I can scour the tanks out and uh, I always have nice clean tanks. Here's another angle shot of the plug I put in back here. I think if I did it again, I would turn it 90 degrees rather than go up like that, but it works. That's the fresh water drain. They put it way under there. I'm going to relocate it out here where I can reach it. They probably didn't do that because if you blow a tire, it could rip it off. That's fine. I've got other things to worry about if I blow a tire. The repairs I had to do was the emergency window latch on each side was loose. I had to change that. I modified it a little so it would be tight. Also, uh, the dinette window and the kitchen window, none of the windows worked properly. Uh, the, and the uh, bedroom window over there uh, was uh, actually crushed, <laughs> the, the runner on it, so I had to pull that out and straighten it. Uh, replace the uh, solar controller. We have 300 watts of solar and they put a 100 watt controller in so I put a 500 watt controller in and uh, it's more sophisticated also and it's good for the lithium ion battery. Uh, the thermostat wasn't working so I fixed it. Uh, the solar panels on the roof they didn't caulk all the way around they missed spots so I had to redo that and uh, the water heater control board has been a continual problem. I'm on a third one now and uh, hopefully that's going to hold. And the slide out had screws that were missing and stripped and so I replaced those and a lot of them were loose also. These uh, drapes used to be one drape on this side and I got the idea they should be split in half because standing over here even with that blind down you could see through 
So I told Holly, let's just split them in half and put them like this. Well, guess what? They were already two of them sewed together. <laughs> so we just uh, took them apart and she fixed down the hem on the bottom there. And I moved that one over there and then we got half and half and it even looks better, I think, rather than have it all bunched up over here. There are a few incidental things that I've done uh, in between little modifications and just learning about how it works and stuff. This trailer came with the Go Power Solar package, it has the Asdell uh, siding, which is what they use in aerospace. And it's not only pretty much uh, bulletproof, but it's, uh, it won't delaminate and it's insulating also. These walls are about that thick on this trailer because it has this Explorer package. Oh no, Comfort Pack. That's the Comfort Pack. It has the really thick insulation. When I put the uh, fan in the roof there, it, uh, it didn't fit because the, the fan that came was for a, a roof that's about that thick. That roof is about this thick. So I had to use some of the old hardware to put the uh, new fan in. Also, it has this Explorer package, has four-wheel independent suspension, four-wheel brakes, and, uh, and it has a, a heavier uh, frame with uh, lifted, it's lifted uh, a little higher than trailers because it's made for off-road stuff. So we're pleased with it. it it's going to do what we want.